ask the question, what is the relationship between activism and critical thought, um, we are suggesting that um, the first is not just on the street and the second is not just in the academy. Uh, many activists read widely in order to understand how best to analyze the social and political world. And uh, many academics uh, worry about the university. They especially do on questions of feminism. How many women are there in the sciences? How many women are there in the academy or who exercise academic power? Um, how do we think about feminist thought inside the academy and its relationship to social movements like Ni Una Menos? Some people claim that feminism is, is for women. It's about women. It represents women, yes. But if feminism is dedicated to combating violence, if it's a movement against violence, and violence is against women and trans and travesty, then feminism is a movement that defends the rights of trans and travesty and women who are not born women, but who are also vulnerable in society. I also teach at a public university, and what that means is that we have to ask the question, what is our relationship to the public? Very often universities face inward and they make decisions about departments and fields, but the truth is that the university both faces inward, it must uh, cultivate uh, uh, a wide range of knowledges, but it faces outward, it faces the world, and it has an obligation to understand what are the key social, economic, political, and cultural issues that people face out in the world.